The fighters of Ali bin Abi Talib Brigade say entering Al Tadamu neighborhood in Syria is a dangerous journey. They walked us through this devastated area. It's yet another Damascus suburb that was part of the security crackdown by the army and security forces. It was shelled by artillery and jet fighters. The suburb also saw intense fighting with opposition rebels who say they are protecting the residents. Devastation and destruction after four days of continued bombardment. These wrecked buildings and empty streets were once full of life. Bombed buildings were turned into debris. I was forced to get out of the house, shooting and shelling. We almost suffocated inside, shelling and bullets. My daughter's son is sick. Look at this, they have destroyed us and left nothing for us. This resident tells us what happened. They said we will kill the men and rape the women. What do you think, ladies? We will rape you. I begged them for God's sake to leave us alone. Do not touch us. Then they left. Al Tadamun suburb now seems completely deserted. Most of the residents have run for their lives to other areas they think are safer. Some are even living out in the open. Some of the suburb's residents were buried in this public park. Mourners could not get to the graveyard. They have been besieged for days. Well, for more on this, let's talk to Robert Fisk in Beirut. He's from the UK-based newspaper, The Independent. Uh, Robert, given the UN success rate so far, is Valerie Amos likely to be able to achieve anything? No, and I don't think the UN expects her to. I think these are just words. In fact, I think that the Syrian crisis or conflict has gone so far now that I doubt very much whether inside Syria what the Americans say, what the UN says, what the European Union says, what the Defence Secretary of the United States says, I don't think it matters anymore. I think the Syrian war is now going on. As both sides have said, the government talks about the battle for Syria. I think that's what's happening, and I think that they've lost all interest in what outside people say, except insofar as making sure that, and this applies to both sides again, they still get as much ammunition and weapons as they can. All outside people, because the Organization of Islamic Cooperation is talking about possibly kicking Syria out of its organization, although Iran says, hang on a second here. Would that make any difference? No. Uh, you know, um, I think for Syria, the Arab League was always a more important institution, though given its impotence, I'm surprised that they ever thought that. But they've already been effectively chucked out of the Arab League. So I don't think the organization of Islamic uh, Conference is going to make any difference. You know, when you're involved in uh, a conflict of this epic dimension, which is what we're seeing in Syria now. Uh, I don't think that whether you have a seat or another seat or don't have a seat as an institution, an international institution, I don't think it amounts to a hill of beans in Damascus or Aleppo.